Good morning everyone, and welcome back to my quest to salvage each and every single last piece off a of Mac. Uh, this has actually given me a decent amount of trouble. It's just harder than it looks like to get all the parts off the ships. Uh, they have a high tendency of breaking, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so I'm just gonna scrape all of the stuff off the outside here to start before I depressurize things. I'm gonna take themselves off too, because this model, I can just do that from the outside. So it's pretty easy. Uh, somebody commented so that I could just tether them before I cut them off, and it's quicker. I think they meant for the ones that normally detach from the inside, but I mean, it works here too. I'm always tempted to cut the airlock off the top of this thing, but explosive decompression has its, has its downsides. <laughs> uh, it, it's definitely fun to do though so if you're bored just load up a mac and cut the cargo hatch off the top there and it's it, it's kind of funny to watch uh, i'm just gonna collect all of the fiddly bits from the inside first i'm in free play right now so it doesn't they don't give me anything but i don't like them floating around and it's easier just to go collect them all to begin with your pressure level decreasing. I'm gonna start with the bottom because I like just having an easier view to the barge while I take things out. I'm not really in a particular rush. I'm just gonna take it slow and easy. I haven't successfully gotten each and every single piece yet, so I'm hoping this run is what'll do it for me. I don't think I'm going to do the back yet. Push you out of the way. And into the processor you go. If I don't like take them out like this, they kind of get stuck on the hull a little bit and then twist and turn the ship around. Okay, I didn't move anything too far good. Sometimes the ship kind of ends up getting bumped and it spins around quite a bit. Now normally I won't have this many tethers, but it is free play, so I can just kind of tether things. Where are you Credit stuck on? There we go. Oh, I got it on the ship somehow. Get out. There we go. Now I am going to collect each and every Salvage single light secured. off this ship as Credit well. Deposited. I've gotten gotten the hang. I know where all the where all the lights are on this thing. With the Mac, it's not such a big deal because the barge is a lot bigger. I mean, it barge doesn't change size, but it's big enough to hold everything that's in the Mac. It's not until you get to the Gecko that the barge suddenly loses its capacity. I'm not tethered. If you tether these down, they kind of do this weird yo-yo thing where they kind of gain infinite momentum and they just kind of spin around. If you want a neat little light show, that's a good way to do it. But uh, they also end up accidentally detaching when the tether runs out and flying off into space. So I'm just gonna chuck them down there one by one. Oop! I want this Airlock open. Airlock pressure levels dropping. I have forgotten to depressurize that before while I'm looting it and just kind of throw it in there and it has not ended up, did not end well. These panels are actually quite fragile too, so I hope that other one didn't break. Usually they'll say they go in the furnace if they break, but I'm not quite sure if that's every time. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. I always forget the one on the outside too. This is like a memory exercise and a half. Like I can't. I, I've done this a lot, and I always seem to forget one piece somewhere. I mean, I've done like 
more than 40 of these ships. And the number of times that there's been like a light just in the end screen. And it's like, where was it? Where was my light at? Uh, I'll get the reactor out of here too right now. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. These things always go flying. I hate how, like, the kind of angle that you grab it at is the angle it stays at. It tries Salvage to stay secured. at the exact same credit position deposited. relative to you when you grab these. I've kind of learned to try to take them by the end piece. So that they stay kind of straight. Credits transferred. Oh no. Ugh. I hope that doesn't break. I haven't figured out how to prevent those from exploding yet. Yeah, it looks like it didn't damage anything else. Those cargo containers are actually, like, damn near invincible. You can cut them in a half and they still, for some reason, count. Don't ask me why. But you don't have to worry about the cargo containers getting damaged, because you can just straight up cut them in half. This is the trick I learned with the uh, tethers, that they will kind of slow, slowly detach everything, and they don't blow up when you do it that way. You just gotta make sure they don't hit anything on the way out. Oh no. Why did that one explode? I'm still having a rough time with figuring out exactly what sets off some of these parts. I hope it survived. Oh shoot, the tether's still attached. Oh no. Where did that go? There he is. Ah, oh, no. Well, not a perfect run. I lost a computer. So I'm already down. Well, I think the cockpit computers are about 35k. That's not good. So, no perfect run this time around. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I need practice. I need to get through the rest of this. The more I do it, the better it's going to go. So we're going to continue on anyways. Deposited. Start separating the roof. The back's still attached by the fuel tanks, so I don't have to worry about that. I can still separate that, and it's not going to go anywhere. Oof, almost forgot a light, too. Now, sometimes on the mackerels, one of these panels isn't made out of nano carbon, and I keep throwing it in the processor anyways, so I just gotta be a little bit more careful with that, too. This one's processor B. Off you go. Off you go. And the cargo hatch. I kind of wish there was more kind of neat stuff with the cargo hatches. Uh, like, this is an interesting part, and I think there could be a lot more little fiddly bits on some of the other nanocarbon panels that you could just, you could kind of painstakingly remove and separate. Uh, like on the gecko, the fuse panel, you can cut those out and stuff like that, or take the lights out. Uh, I find that kind of stuff fun. Even though it's not terribly profitable to do, I just kind of want the option to do weird fiddly bits. Uh, the mackerel is kind of not as fiddly. It doesn't have too many of those parts that you can do. This model doesn't even have the uh, fuel shutoff valve that I can take off the back, and I'm kind of disappointed about that, to be honest. Oop, that's wobbly. I'm just going to move that back out of the way over there. Uh, this is detached, right? Yeah. Okay. Start taking the sides off here, one at a time. And the lights next to this uh, power cell, if you try to take the uh, the power cell off before the lights, all they, they all go red and I think 
they get destroyed. I'm not entirely positive, but since I'm doing kind of a run right now, I don't want to test that out. <laughs> but there is more lights back here that I always forgot before. I'm not sure why they decided to put lights on the inside of these little crawl spaces, because you can't get in them unless you cut the ship apart, so it's not like there's a hatch or something somewhere for a crawl space. Is that gonna go? Don't fly away, don't fly away. Okay, it caught. Sometimes they drift pretty far like that, you gotta aim them far apart. If they hit an occupied square, they just kind of bounce really hard off of it. Uh, even if they don't hit the item itself, it's just the square that's now occupied becomes unsticky. I don't think there's a fuel shutoff valve in this model either for the, the individual tanks. Although, I'm trying to figure out a way to separate that without cutting the pipe or the uh, pipe junction off. Just to save that extra little bit of processable materials. These have been giving me trouble with exploding. I hope this one does okay. Uh, well, I got credit for it. It kind of exploded, but it still counts. Yeah, once the item is in the barge, it can explode and get destroyed and leak or do whatever it wants, and you still get all that. But, uh, you still get credit for it all, so it doesn't... You don't have to worry once it's already in there. I'm trying to figure out whether there's a way I can kind of purposefully explode things that are in the barge just to make room on Gecko Runs. That will be helpful. Because if you can kind of concentrate things in one half and then just blow it up and then do the other half of your run, having a whole bunch of extra space there, that's going to be helpful. Uh, if I push this, it's going to get caught. Can I put it up? Ooh. Whatever, it's not a big deal. If it all kind of gets mushed together now. Okay, um... Different spot then. It's gonna get a little bit rotated. Let's uh let that settle for a bit. I don't like cutting while it's still moving. And oh man, these fuel or these uh, coolant tanks are the bane of my existence. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know I almost always explode them. So I got a kind of a different method now to deal with this problem. Did that come out? Instead of removing the coolant tank from the ship, I'm gonna remove the ship from the coolant tank. Just gonna get these out of the way. Wow. Yeah, okay. So, again, if you tether these to the ship, it will remove them. And it won't inherit a bunch of weird momentum. It'll just kind of stay. And it won't escape into orbit when you do that. Now, uh, okay, this thing's a little bit possessed. Yeah, and look at it spin like that. So that's, that's not really normal. That means it has a little bit of off-centered balance almost. I don't know how to describe it, but it when it rotates and does that weird cradle motion, it's got a weird center of balance, which is kind of how all these weird physical pitches seem to occur. So this one, I don't think I'm going to take that kind of chance on it. I'm going to do get it away from the ship some other way, because if it happens while you're gripped onto it, it's just going to flail. So I don't want to grab this tank. I want to just send a tether down to the barge with it. Please don't clip. Okay. <sighs> one down, one to go. Tether. Now it's separate. That went in okay? Yeah, okay. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. 
And now I'm going to separate the ship from the coolant. The easy way. The risk-free way. And it's moving the whole ship instead of moving the coolant. And now this should just go right down easy. See how far that turns? Like, the, it's Credit almost as if there's kind of like a current that it kind of gets caught up in and just kind of takes it away for no apparent reason. It's one of the worst bugs in this game, it's that secured. weird physics of, like, the momentum the items kind of store. Oh yeah, this one doesn't break. Why do they have this, this little section here have the hazard stripes that you can cut, but you can't actually cut these ones? And I do want everything off this, so I am going to take the whole cockpit out. Uh, this one only has two, okay. And they're hard to see, too. I'm not cutting the whole panel out, these are just the small little square girders, like what hold together the main section of the ship. Did that knock anything loose? Yes, it did. I can't get them out yet, though. Sometimes they, uh, they scare me with how much momentum they detach with. Especially since I'm not really putting any momentum on them when I'm doing this. Yes. There we go. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Uh, yeah, the door's still loose. Oh no. Okay, be careful with the door. If it's loose like that, and it's jiggling, it's constantly imparting momentum to the main cockpit. So I gotta burn this out of here quickly before it does something crazy. Sometimes it'll just kind of explode if something like that is happening. The constant physics jiggling, it'll just kind of cause everything to freak out. Can I fit things through here now? I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut as things that I don't have to. Normally, aluminum aluminum is not worth anything. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that I'm trying to get everything, I wouldn't bother. Yeah, it won't come out unless it comes out. I don't want to have to try to turn these around. Come on, come on. There we go. Material deposited. Now, there was an easier way to do this. Like, it's definitely a lot easier if you cut out all four of those panels. Because those thing tends to spaz out. Let's just anchor that down. Uh, if you anchor it, then any physics you put on it is going to get cancelled out to a certain extent. Or at least it's going to get redirected, so it's not going to fly off too far. That one. Is it gonna go? Give it some help. Let's just make sure we don't leave any parts behind. I'm already down one computer. I don't don't want to be down more. Now this is like the lower tier mackerel too, so it doesn't have as much in it. That. Oh, there's a whole other panel in here. I thought it just had a really small cockpit glass section for no reason. Uh, what am I stuck on? I get so turned around sometimes when I'm in these weird spots. Fly away. It's the worst way to lose a part is not to forget it, is just kind of to have it drift off into the abyss. Raw there we material go. Where is the cockpit? There it is. 
This glass is actually worth quite a bit, so I want as much of it as I can get. But I do have the cutter upgrade to do free play, so I have to be a little bit careful. Try to get as level as I can. For some reason, if you don't cut it at a 90 degree angle, you have these invisible pieces of glass still kind of holding it in. Right there for a second. <laughs> and I think that's everything in these. Raw material processor. I can just Credit throw the whole rest of every other piece in here is all processor. There's nothing else to separate. I can't take that uh as a straight panel off. It doesn't come off and you can't burn it. So that part's just how it is. Why is there the fuel tank came off but didn't drift anywhere. Which I guess is probably good considering I forgot about it almost. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. It is faster to use the split side, just don't want to risk cutting the nano turn. those panels. All that's left is the airlock and the other kind of processor blocks in here. Now in a normal play, just throw the whole thing into the processor. Don't bother separating it out like this. The aluminum's really not worth anything. And we're at, you know, 22 minutes. So a two shift complete breakdown if you're ignoring most most of the aluminum, but this time I'm going to separate the whole cockpit, or the whole airlock out of this because everybody wants to see the rest of it gone too. So all those panels plus that little girder there and the whole thing is now kind of detached. Can I get the door out? And probably a bit. Tether this to... Oh, I'm upside down. Uh, well, tether the rest of it over somewhere else. I want the airlock now. I don't want it to be spinning around. And yes, this has furnace, but there's a door in it, so... And you can't get the door out without burning off the whole panel anyways. So that aluminum panel gets destroyed no matter what you do. So don't worry about burning the door out. And I'm gonna leave a gap because I don't want to nick the nanocarbon. So there's gonna be a little bit of aluminum still left on this. Uh, I don't really wanna shave it that close. lined up. There we go. So that's just the big chunks of aluminum. If you're going to save any part off, just do it. Oh, there's there's uh, nanocarbon on that that I forgot to take off. So yeah, be careful because that bottom armor piece, that nanocarbon piece, it uh, is attached to the aluminum. It's not actually attached to the rest of the nanocarbon panel. But that's empty now. Where did that go? Did I send you? Ah, there we go. Valuable object there is no up in space. So with this one too, I don't want to shave it too close because I tend to ruin that uh, nanocarbon panel trying. 
so I'm just gonna take it off at the joint here. I saved more aluminum than I would have otherwise. And it really is overcomplicated in getting that last bit off. There we go. Now for this, it's just the small nanocarbon, well, I think they're actually titanium? Yeah, the small titanium blocks go in the processor. Now, uh, Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. This is a lot of extra parts floating around. I need to figure out a better way to do this. Because that's just messy. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's stuck. Okay, so can somebody explain how this works, where they're all separate and still connected? Because now I just have physics floating block there that isn't attached to anything, but is still attached to everything. And I have no idea how that works. Deposit accepted. And yeah, this, this is totally not worth doing either. <laughs> I just want every last piece. Oop, I nicked it a little bit. Uh, can I avoid cutting the panel? Yeah. Should probably line it up so it doesn't. Other panel too. The less you cut, the less is destroyed. So lots of room for improvement. Oh, what is that still attached to? I hate cutting up this core bit. There's always so many, so much debris. Is it actually connected to this? Small There's actually more. The back half of these uh, beams are that where the reactor goes are processor. They are not. They don't go in the furnace. Uh, I haven't tried just trying to cut them out yet. Uh, that removed the wrong side. What are you attached to still? This one maybe a little closer. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely need a better way to do this. Cause it seems it joins right at the center there. That's where the joining bit is. Uh, did that work? Do this one too. Uh, again, that's the wrong side that got removed when I did that. Oh jeez. Don't don't kill me. <sighs> Cleaning up all the debris. This isn't worth Material This isn't worth this. I think half this thing's kinda probably loose now. All right, what are you still attached to, and why? Ah, well, now it's not attached to the wall. You free yet? No. I swear that this thing's attached to like five different pieces. There we go, finally. Out that corner. Credits awarded. Is that the piece that held you in? No. That's still attached. Still 
attached. Still attached. How about now? That one's free. This is totally not worth it. Why is this one still attached to? I wonder if this thing's even actually attached to the rest of the beam, or whether I cut that beam off for no reason. Whether if I just disconnect these, this stuff, why is that message attached to still? Huh? Why is it, again with the floaty, floating connections, they definitely didn't count on somebody trying to do this. Because there's a lot of things that just break down and no longer work the second you try to take each and every single piece apart. Ah, uh, get off! Get off! There's nothing else on that. I can just chuck that away. Let's get you out of here. Now, what is this all still connected? Deposited. Was it actually connected by a piece of the other pipe? Or the beam? That's weird. Wait, what? Didn't I just send you down? Off you go. Oh, come on. What? Why is this all broken apart now? What was holding this together before then? Just that little piece of pipe? Or beam? That tiny chunk of beam was holding this entire thing together. Every part has come loose now. See what I mean? Uh, it just all came unglued. It's kind of funny. Weird things happen when you try to take the Raw ship apart process. piece Credit by piece. Deposited. Now, see, if you're a little bit quicker and a little less picky, you can you can easily get every single part, except for the aluminum, in two ships pretty quick. Uh, thank you to somebody from the comments who's saying it's a lot easier to do uh, see stuff when you turn on the scanner it, it really is uh, so if you want to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything just turn on the scanner it'll be real obvious real quick what is that way down there scrap what piece is scrap oh my fuse box or my electrical box well that's two pieces down. So we know we lost two pieces. The computer that exploded and became scrap. And the fuse box. There's two lights. See, this is what I mean with the lights. They bounce around a lot. Just stay. Where are you going? There we go. Yeah, they don't like uh, making it into the barge. Barge isn't quite sticky enough. I hope that they can come up with some sort of auto sort system or like something a little bit more sticky for the barge so that it doesn't uh, have this problem. Did I get any other free floating pieces? No. Alright, let's see uh, how we did. I only know of two parts that we screwed up, so hopefully those are the only two parts that are missing. Uh, everything looks good. Atmosphere regulator, storage. Coolant tanks, got them all. 
Yeah, power junction box, computer terminal. And a tiny bit of nanocarbon was destroyed. And I'm not quite sure what, where that nanocarbon was. So, yeah, three little mistakes. I nicked some nanocarbon somewhere. And, uh, but I got mostly aluminum. So, yeah, overall pretty successful. Uh, let me know if there's any other, uh, whether you want me to continue doing this or you want me to move career mode. And uh, I, could, I could do some career mode stuff. I'd still probably salvage as much as I can, though. <laughs> Not quite to this extent, but let me know what you think. Comment down below.